the founder and executive director of Apidio, Mr. Brad Jubin, who's got a, his people with him. I'd like for everybody to give them a big, his group a big hand. They'll take the floor. Thank you, Coach. Good morning. Go Bears! Well, as Coach said, my name is Brad Jubin, and I'm the co-founder and the executive director for Pebio, and I'm here with a, with a group of my friends to present an award, the Pebio Player of the Month, Player of the Month Award, sponsored by Zaxby's, and it's a leadership award for one of your classmates and friends who's going to be awarded with. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Pebio first, and about the award. A PIVIO is an acronym. Okay, so PIVIO stands for always play for each other. AP is always play, IB is Roman numeral four, and EO is each other. Always play for each other. But more importantly, a PIVIO is an organization that encourages and equips youth coaches and adults to teach kids and youth about leadership and about character. But a PIVIO, always playing for each other, is not just for kids. A pivio is a way of life. Always playing for each other is what we're all called to do. It's our common purpose. We are here on this planet, gifted by God to love each other, period. Now, how we do it has to do with our unique gifts, talents, and passions. That's where we'll add the most value to the people around us and truly be able to always play for each other. So each month, we present the Apivio Player of the Month Award to a youth athlete in the metro Atlanta area between the ages of 4 and 14 that has demonstrated leadership through service in their community, on their team, in their school, or in their church. And this morning we're here to celebrate John Gibson. John, because John always plays for each other. Now I know that he's an accomplished athlete, and I know he's got some awards and different things. Come on over here. <laughs> I know he's got plenty of awards, and he's done some really great things performance-wise. But that's got nothing to do with why he's standing here right now. He's standing here because he serves. He's standing here because he puts others first. Now, he doesn't put others first by getting out of their way. John understands that to put others first, you use who you are to lift them up and put them in places they can't always go on their own. In Romans 15:2, Paul writes, Each of us should please our neighbor for their good to build them up. He did not write, Each of us should please our neighbor by getting out of their way. So if you've got something to offer, roll up your sleeves and care for somebody like John does. Now, John participates in a program called STAR. STAR stands for Students That Accept Responsibility. And I just love that. And just at the time that John was nominated and selected as the Epiphany Player of the Month, I got to sit down with legendary coach Bill Curry. And I asked Bill, what do you want kids to learn before they get up to your level? What should I be teaching them? And he looked at me and said, one word, responsibility. And we just named John our video player of the month for being responsible. And Jonathan's responsibility he steps up and he coaches kids. He officiates youth games. He's out there on the field sharing what he can do well, which is lead through the cross and through sports, and gives his time, his effort, his love to those that are younger than him so that then they can rise up as well. So according to Coach Bill Curry, you're a leader. <laughs> That is leadership, and that's always playing for each other. So right now, I'd like to introduce another gentleman that's going to come up. We've got a couple other people for you to meet, and and uh, and you do get something to take home with you there, John. So I'd like to right now introduce Coach Lou Forsett. Hey everybody, how you doing? Go Bears! My daughter actually went here. Uh, she graduated in 2008, she was a cheerleader, and uh, along with Coach Buckus, he brought me along uh, from Atlanta Youth Lacrosse to uh, help start the uh, lacrosse program here back in the day. 
Uh, so if anybody knows Coach Buckus, uh, thank you to him. The Big Bear and it's outside it was donated to Coach Buckus because uh, he's another person that has incredible leadership qualities as well as service. Uh, John um, is an awesome individual. Uh, we, Brad and I got to meet uh, through a mutual friend and you know we, we wanted to nominate somebody that was very, very special and does the right thing all the time. Uh, John's done a lot of things for me. More than anything else, he makes me laugh every time I'm on the field. He taught me about Nualicorns, which I didn't know what the Nualicorns was. <laughs> Still not 100% sure what it is, but John taught me about that. Um, he, he taught me about uh, just giving back. And as a coach, you, you're always told, you know, you should be doing this, you should be doing that for young people. But I actually get more from people like John than I may give to him. And that's, uh, that's pretty special. Funny story about John, we were playing in a tournament two years ago, and John um, and some other guys were underneath the bleachers before our game. And they found little tiny frogs about that big. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. He's like, coach, look at all these frogs. This is neat. And then we played the game, and I think we may have won. I can't really remember. But John then came up to me and out of his pocket pulled one live frog and three dead frogs. <laughs> and I was like, that's a Gibby right there. <laughs> just, just what Gibby does, okay? It just makes us all laugh. But again, we're really, really excited for John to be part of this special organization. Uh, Zaxby's has done a terrific job uh, sponsoring uh, Pivio over the last couple of years, as well as uh, having Blaze Sports, which John may talk about uh, a little bit. Uh, Owen Penn and Sam Fallon got involved with Blaze, which is for Adapted Sports a couple of years ago, and that was a pretty neat. Uh, opportunity there. I also have somebody here that played for me many, many years ago in Atlanta Youth Across at Murphy Camler Field, uh, who actually just got traded to our brand new uh, MLL team here in Atlanta, the Atlanta Blades. Uh, Scott Ratliff from uh, the, the Boston Cannons was just traded here. Scotty, as I said, played for me a couple of years ago, went on to be an All American at Walton, two time All American at Loyola, and won a national championship there, and now is a pro lacrosse player and now president of LB3 Lacrosse. So uh, we're excited to have John make this presentation uh, to, to uh, John. In other words, I should say Scott make the presentation to John. And uh, thank you very much for coming, Scott. Hey, everybody. Uh, as you said, my name is Scott Ratliff. Um, I play professional lacrosse for the Atlanta Blaze uh, here in Atlanta. So hopefully uh, I'll see you guys all at a game uh, this summer. Um, I was asked to come present this award on leadership, and leadership is something that's really important to me. Uh, probably my greatest honor in my athletic career has been the opportunity to be captain of teams. Uh, I was a two-time captain at Loyola uh, up in Baltimore. Um, I moved on to play for the Boston Cannons, as he mentioned, and was elected captain of that team. And um, when I heard that I was going to be given a, an award on leadership to a freshman in high school, uh, it was really surprising to me. I mean, I, I think it really took me until my junior year in college where I got comfortable enough with myself to become a great leader. And, and there's a couple qualities um, in really good leaders that I, I've always found really important. Uh, first and foremost is exactly what I just said. You have to be really comfortable in yourself. Um, when you're comfortable with yourself, it allows you to stand up uh, and to help to lead others. And I think John has, has done a really good job of that and demonstrated that quality. Um, the other one that, that was always taught to us at Loyola and, and I find extremely important is service to others. You know, being a leader is all about making the people around you better. Um, all of us being here today on his behalf and the support he's getting from all of you shows that he does that. He makes the people around him better, he provides service to others, and he helps others. And that really makes John a, a fantastic leader. So again, I'm really honored to be asked to do this. Really excited to be here with you guys and happy to present John with this beautiful plaque right here. So we can give him a round of applause. Uh, I mentioned Zaxby's, and, and Zaxby's our partner and our sponsor. They're not just that name. So each month when we have a kid that's a leader by serving others, Zaxby's steps up to help John do that a little bit more. So, so Zaxby's uh, has a thousand dollars that each month they put up that the winner, the recipient, this month John gets to select a charity to donate that thousand dollars to. 
So with that said, right now I'd like to introduce Mr. Bobby Dibble from Zach's Keys. Providing that tool to develop leaders, to identify them, to empower and educate them. So for you guys, you may play sports, you may be involved in arts and other things that you're really, really passionate about. All of those opportunities through school and outside of school are really teaching you the skills. Whether you know about it or not, they're teaching you to be a leader and to recognize what you're passionate about and how to give that passion to other people. So. With this thousand dollars, I'm really privileged to accept this on behalf of Blaze and thank John and all of you here and promise you that this will be used to offer more sports and leadership opportunities to people with physical disabilities, not only in Atlanta, but across the world. So thank you so much for having me. So this is the last thing, um, in a video of the four, the IV, always play for each other. What we do is we hold up four fingers to demonstrate the fact that right now I'm holding it up, so I'm telling you I'm for you. I'm for John. Good or bad, I'm for you. So everybody hold up your four fingers right now. You can use this at any point in time. You ever get in a moment where you want to tell somebody that you're for them, but you know if you open your mouth, it's probably going to go bad? Just hold up four fingers, okay, and let it go good. So right now, John, they're all holding it up, but right now the four fingers are being held up for you, my friend. Yeah. Well done. 